What's okay, going Q. on, YouTube yeah. family? It's your boy, OK Q. Y'all know what today is, man. Today, today, today is the day where we talk about some upgrades I done did to the track hog. Now, I'm moving so fast, it's hard for me to document and show y'all. I was supposed to do an install video on this, but I just wanted to install ASAP because I had to get rid of this. Like, this ain't it. All y'all Hellcat owners, track hog owners, this ain't it. And everybody like, oh, but OK Q, you're going to lose your SRT pages. Oh, OK Q, you're not going to, nah, nah, I'm about to break it down and show y'all how this thing works. Like, believe it or not, you should upgrade your car to this, I'm going to say Tesla. We all know it's an Android screen, but I'm going to say Tesla to this Tesla screen from this. And yes, you will lose the functions. You won't be able to use your AC. You won't be able to use heat. But who needs AC and heat when you got SRT pages? And I'm just playing. Y'all will not lose none of these functions. All these functions will retain with the screen. So right now I'm about to give y'all a quick rundown of the pros and cons of this screen. I only had it for like a week now. So, you know, I'm giving y'all this just the first update, but I'm about to show y'all what this screen can do and why you should replace your screen with this Android screen. Hold on, hold on, that's a better thumbnail. Oh yeah. All right, now I've had this screen installed for I say about about a week now so i already did my little touch-ups it's not oem coming out the box so everything that i did you won't have done but i can do a follow-up video explaining everything i did but for now i'm just showing a look now what this screen does is i have already crunked the car up once so it's not going to do it this is one of the cons and i'm just get out the way now i've been noticing when i go and crank this up sometimes the screen will just black out it'll just be great and it'll just sit there so i literally have to turn the car off and turn it back on it only does that when i first crank the car up i don't really know what that's about i don't know if that's going to go away over time but that is one of the things that happens to the screen but i already done crunk it up and so it's not gonna do it now but let me just show y'all what it look like so i've ripped some i turned on it's trying to pair to my phone because this thing does have apple play so that's what it's trying to do well it already connected because it's already synced so as you see i'll just get straight into it this is the apple play, play section so as you see everything that your phone has it has of course i downloaded ways so we can see what the police said. And as you see, I have a big, huge screen of ways now. Huge screen. And then vice versa, if you want to play music, you can listen to music, all that good stuff. You know what I'm saying? There's numerous things you can kind of do in this section with Apple Pay. And I believe my, my OEM screen had Apple Pay, but it wasn't like this. But anyway, if you get out of the Apple Play section, like we're gonna get out of this, we go home, boom. Of course, you can set the screen to have whatever you want. Right now, it only has this Grand Cherokee. I'm, I haven't been able to put a Trackhawk on there. Plus, I'm not gonna put a Trackhawk on there. I'm gonna put the Thunderhawk on there. But this is the OEM screen. You know, you can kind of set your own background. You can go through these apps. So going through these apps, of course, you got everything an Android would have. Now, file manager is if you want to put a USB in there and kind of do all that. So I know the big question everybody wants to know is, does this thing have SRT pages? Because before I installed this screen, everybody told me, oh, you're gonna lose your SRT functions. Well, buddies, that's not true. So you hit car settings, right? Cool. You go in, so we'll start off with performance pages. As you see, everything that you would buy, I actually bought gauges, which I don't need, because as you see, it has everything here from all the gauges you would get right here. Oil pressure, oil temp, coolant temperature, battery voltage, all that good stuff. It has this right here, dyno and engine. I'm not sure what that is. I'm assuming that's when you put it on the dyno. I don't know. Then it has G-Force, you know what I'm saying? All that cool stuff. So yeah, that's just one section, right? So we press back, we get in here, and we go to driving modes. Boom. What we have here is considered technically your SRT pages. We have track. Okay, come on. It's pretty responsive too. But um, yeah, it's not responding right now. Let me see. Oh, okay. Well, I'm actually controlling that with the knob. So we have track. Sport, auto, snow, tow, all that good stuff right here in the driving modes. Now, if we go back, we have race options, which I don't even know what this is. I see launch control. So you have launch control, you have line lock. All this is in the screen. Now, I haven't tested out launch control or line lock. That'll be a video of its own, but it does have it. It has it right here. So let's go in here. And what you got to do is, right, you're going to want to take this. And you're going to go to the Play Store, connect to some Wi-Fi. And you're going to want to download an app to play videos and movie. Because like me, I have videos on my USB. But when I first got in here and tried to play it, it wouldn't let me. It said it wouldn't do it while motion. So I downloaded the app, which I think I downloaded VLR Movie or something like that. 
And with that, I was able to actually play movies. Let me find my movie section. All right, boom. All right, guys. So this is my little movie selection. You know what I'm saying? Everybody be asking for my, my playlist, which I don't really... I do have a playlist, but my playlist be all over the list. Play. But as you see, this is me getting ready to start a movie up. Uh, two seconds. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I just fast forwarded. But as you see... I'm having an issue right now where the screen is only this little small area. I'm guessing because how the movies are. So I am going to eventually find an app that plays in a full screen. I just haven't got around to that. That would be in my updated video. But as you see, I mean, this thing is pretty clear. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you, know, you, know, you know, me, I'm going to be in here watching some anime. Let me find some anime to put on for y'all, man. We ain't watching no John Wick today. Let me show y'all what we watching. So we watch, we watch Dragon Ball. You know what I'm saying? You see how clear that thing is, man? I'm playing. All right, well, I ain't trying to get copyrighted. I don't know if that happens, but anyway. So yeah, that's how the movies work, and the same with music videos. So I am kind of figuring out how I'm gonna make it full screen because I know it's possible. Because in my BMW, when I had my Android screen, it was the same type of situation. Now this thing is long and rectangle. Now one thing that y'all do know is you lose your turn thing to turn the turn the volume up and down so right here you have the button to turn it up and down right here now this whole unit is what replaces that ac unit so all this is your ac unit and your volume up and down so but you can also turn it up and down with the steering wheel of course with the back of the steering wheel which that's what most people will do if you cool or if you light skin now let's get in all all this stuff works heating seat ac seats I haven't had any issues. It all comes right on. Works up pretty well. You know what I'm saying? Let me turn it on. Just show y'all. Oh, I guess I got out of the car now. As you see, it all comes on. You know what I'm saying? You can turn it on and off. I just turned it on. You can adjust it. You can do heat seats. They do work. I've tried them. AC seats, all that good stuff right here. Turn the AC on, turn it off. Yeah, it's pretty cool, man. It actually makes a touchscreen. It makes you feel more luxury. And yeah, it takes away that. Now, all these have worked so far. Like I said, I have not tried launch control. I keep this eco thing on when I'm driving. I don't know if that actually works. I don't know. The, these work, of course. And self-parking works. Line assist works. All this stuff works. So I didn't lose any functions down here. Now, people were telling me this thing was going to go out when I got this Android screen. Now that is not the case this thing still works now it does communicate weirdly with the screen because sometimes when you go into sport it doesn't put everything in the sport but it still goes in the sport still goes in the track so i'm not really sure if it's if that's an issue or what i haven't had any issue out of it it has been working for me like i said i'll keep y'all up to date with that but as far as the main things that people said weren't going to work was the srt pages the gauges and i had a i didn't know if the ac would work all that did work now, mind y'all, this screen was gifted to me, and I believe it's by AZ Phoenix. I'm gonna put the screen. I'm gonna put the name of it right there. That's who makes the screen. Now, this one was a gift, so I gotta kind of go back and do my research. And I didn't think I was gonna keep it because I thought I was gonna lose all this stuff. But now I'm keeping it, so I'll do a little more research and give y'all an update on the price and you know where y'all can get it from. But I'm gonna talk to the company and see if we can, you know, what I'm saying work something out. Now, let's talk about. First off, you guys, you got navigation. Mine is Waze, of course. Now, this thing can hold a SIM card. If you just want to be bougie and extra, you can get a SIM card, put it in the back of this screen, and have its own service, own Wi-Fi, own everything. So when you're driving, you can make calls from this thing. You can use it as its own thing. Or you can just hotspot to it if you want to use apps. But most people just use the CarPlay. Use the CarPlay, and, and that's fine. But you can use it at its own device. I mean, it is an Android, so that's pretty cool. little touch. Let's see. What else do I want to talk about, man? What else does this thing have? You got Instagram. Of course, y'all know. Now, another thing. Another thing. This is a major thing, a major concern. My buddy who, who was getting this screen, he told me he bought it, and he sent it back because he said the audio was trash. He didn't like the way the audio sounded from the OEM, and he said he thought his stuff down here stopped working. I'm here to tell y'all, no. The audio is perfect. It's actually way better than the OEM with just the screen. Now, mind you, my guys, they did go through and kind of adjust the audio settings. 
Maybe that's what he didn't do, but the audio sounds way better. It's actually more loud and vivid with this screen than it was with the OEM screen. So if that's the issue, you don't have to worry about that. And like I said, the number one complaints was SRT page. You don't have to worry about that. So I do recommend you guys get this screen. It's pretty amazing. Like I said, I've only had it for a week, but you know, I like to do everything different. I don't like OEM stuff. Everything got to come out. It got to be crazy. So I'll give y'all a, another rough estimate in a month about how I feel about it. But for now, I'm sold. I love it. I know y'all would love it. Now, as far as the cons, only thing I dislike is I can't figure out how to get this damn stupid ass Grand Cherokee off here. That's one thing that pisses me off. For two, like I said, sometimes the screen gets glitchy when I first crank it up. And when I first turn it on, it just will blank out. And I literally, I literally did this two days ago. I crank it up, it blanked out, and I just kept driving. And it stayed like that the whole time I was driving. It literally didn't turn back on until I stopped at the red light, turned the car off, opened the door so to fully reset, closed the door, turned it back on, and then it went back to normal. So I don't know if that's something that's going to work, as, work itself out over time. But that is one of the complaints I do have about this screen. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. When I get in the car now, I just know to crank it up once, see if it works, crank it up again. You know, and I say crank it up, I just mean, you know, hit it, hit the accessory, whatever. But you have to open the door in order to reset it. So, yeah. Oh, this is pretty cool, too. When y'all open the door, look at this. As you see, it shows you what door is open. Open your door. That's pretty freaking cool, man. I believe it does that with the trunk as well. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. It's so many things that this thing can do. I haven't even got down to it. I'm just trying to give y'all a little small little weak notice of what it can do. This thing can do mountains of stuff, man. I am I really feel like I'm, I'm having a Tesla screen. You know what I'm saying? It might self-drive. I don't know. We're going to have to find out. I've been seeing some of them SRT self-driving. But overall thoughts, man, the screen is amazing. When I looked it up online, I believe they're right around 900. Like I said, I'm not 100% sure if it's this one because this was gifted to me and I don't know exactly which one. I'll try to do a little more research, but I believe they're right around 900 or less. And for that price, oh man, you can't win. It's a direct swap. We ain't have to do no wiring. We ain't have to do no, no installing new vents. It come with the vents. It come with the thing. I actually had this same type of screen in my charger and in my charger, I lost a lot of features. But in this, I didn't lose a lot of features. Like, I'm still able to turn traction off, do all that cool stuff. So, if y'all got any questions, leave it in the comments. I'll try my best to answer them. But for the most part, this screen is great. I would rate it at like a 9, 8, 9. Only reason it's 8, 9 is because it still got some glitchy stuff. It's super responsive, though. And if you've been thinking about upgrading your screen, you know, taking it to the next level and putting you a Tesla screen in there, you know how cool it is when I say I got a Tesla screen in there? I know y'all gonna troll me and says Android screen. It is, but I still said Tesla screen. So yeah, man, if you wanna upgrade your Jeep Cherokee, Grand Cherokee, SRT Jeep, Trackhawk, Thunderhawk, all that, I recommend you go ahead and get this screen, man. And this wasn't even a sponsored video. This was just me doing this for y'all because everybody on my Instagram was asking questions. So yeah, it's your boy OKQ, and I'm gone.